forget one Bitcoin for every millionaire on Earth. According to Credit Suisse there are 42 million millionaires living in 2019. Now consider these three simple facts. 1. There is a maximum supply of just shy of 21 million Bitcoins. 2. Anywhere from 3 to 6 million Bitcoin are dead, lost, or inaccessible forever. 3. More than one quarter, 26%, of all the known circulating supply is already in the hands of wallets holding at least Yon supply, whales who have 1,000 or more Bitcoins. That means that there is not even enough supply for half a Bitcoin for every millionaire on Earth. At best, if Bitcoin was owned only by millionaires, then the average millionaire, excluding whales, would own something like 0.1 to 0.2 Bitcoin. If they're lucky. Question, what do you think will happen when the average millionaire is told by their financial advisor or investment strategist that they should probably get a Bitcoin because it is a non-correlated asymmetric return asset with the highest and fastest returns of any asset in history? Answer, they will want one or more Bitcoin, ASAP. And then what do you think will happen when they find out that there isn't enough going around for them to even own one whole Bitcoin? They will very likely lose their minds and go crazy just trying to obtain one. And they will pay whatever it costs to buy it. And that will just drive the price up even more. Remember the kimchi premium of 2017 in South Korea? Well, if retail investors are willing to pay upwards of $50,000 for an asset they could buy elsewhere at the time for $20,000, what do you think millionaires and billionaires will be willing to pay to make sure they are not left behind and locked out of Bitcoin's future? What lengths do you think the super wealthy, the top 0.01%, will go to, when they find out that a number of successful analysts who have gotten it right so far have already published well-substantiated theories that Bitcoin could replace the US dollar once paper money becomes a thing of the past? How much do you think these ultra-wealthy people will be willing to pay, when they realize that those top analysts are saying very clearly, that one single Bitcoin will be worth $100 million? Meanwhile, massive investments, investors and institutions are getting into Bitcoin far more than ever before. Fidelity manages over $7.7 .7 trillion in assets, that's as much as the gold market is worth. And they're already seeing impressive demand from their top clients who have been given early access to trade crypto on Fidelity's trading platform. And at the same time, Fidelity is mining Bitcoin, creating Bitcoin, in their office in Texas. Do you really think that Fidelity would mine Bitcoin if they didn't see an even higher future value in Bitcoin? And there are literally hundreds and thousands of stories like this coming out every year. Here are just a few examples. A. Harvard, Yale and other big universities have announced that they are investing billions of dollars into Bitcoin and crypto. B. Forbes has reported that an art dealer for the absurdly rich, known as the Dadiani Syndicate, that helps super wealthy clients move massive amounts into and out of crypto, claims one billionaire client is interested in acquiring 25% of all Bitcoin currently available. That feat may be highly improbable, but it does give you a clue about how the smart money view the current and future value of Bitcoin. They see it as a highly undervalued asset that is going to be worth much more in the future. C. A growing number of wealthy, well-known Bitcoin and crypto skeptics and even deniers who say it is not real money, are buying Bitcoin and holding it. Think about it. Do you really think that all of these smart money people and institutions are buying into something they think will lose them massive fortunes? Think about it some more. Do whatever you think is right. I will never give anyone financial advice. I'm just saying look at where all of the trends and actions are heading. And don't come crying to me in 10 years, when Bitcoin is one of the global top reserve currencies and becomes the standard benchmark for measuring wealth and the size of the economy. You are lucky. You know this information now during the early days of the next bull run cycle. Hopefully you have known it for some time, but if not, now you do. You have no excuse. You cannot blame ignorance. On the upside, you can, of course, get into crypto now. If it interests you, then make sure that you do your own research and never invest more than you can afford to lose. And if you decide to go for it, then you may indeed be preparing your future self for a potentially incredibly amazing return within the next 5 to 10 years. Here's my opinion. A $30,000 Bitcoin in 2019? It's possible. 
Could Bitcoin hit six figures in 2019 or 2020? It could happen, and even if you ignore what some people call fundamentals, according to math and many technical indicators, it should. What about a $1 million Bitcoin? Personally, I think that's a pretty low ball figure, 8 to 10 years from now. Links to the Wealth Report data source and other relevant pages are in the description below. Now, here's the part of the video I like the best, I want to know what you think. Do you think Bitcoin will be worth a million dollars someday? What's your uppermost price prediction, 8 to 10 years from now? Do you think crypto might replace paper money someday? And do you think that Bitcoin will have a good or bad long-term impact on business and the economy? Be sure to leave your answers in a comment below. If you found this video insightful, educational or otherwise positively interesting or of value, then please smash up the like button and share it with your friends and family, to let them know that the future of money and finance is becoming clearer with every passing day, and its leader is Bitcoin. And if you're new to Yasha Harari's Crypto Marketing Insights channel, then be sure to click that subscribe button and hit the notification bell icon, so that you always get the latest updates or notices when we do a live stream. P.S. If you need any marketing expertise for your crypto or blockchain projects, then contact Yasha Harari of YashaHarari.com. The marketing agency, YashaHarari.com, runs crypto marketing for clients, all day, every day, even when you're sleeping, and can help you take your business to the next level.